Do you struggle keeping up to date with all of the updates from Microsoft 365? Then I've got the feature for you. Hi, I'm Stuart Bidat and I am a Modern Work Customer Success Manager at Microsoft. And today I want to talk to you about a brilliant new feature which has been introduced into the Office 365 Message Center that allows you to sync all of those Message Center posts with Planner so you can effectively triage all of those incoming alerts and decide whether they apply to your organization and track them through to completion. Okay, let's dig in here. So. Here I am at office.com and I'm going to go into the admin portal here so I can set up and I'm going to go to show all and go to health and message center. And you can see here there is a new button which says planner syncing. So I'm going to set up syncing to get this across into a new planner board. So I click planner syncing and it tells me a little bit of information about it. Uh, so you can choose what's going to be synced, etc. So let's set it up here. So the first thing you need to do is have a plan where it's going to do. So if you don't have one, then you can click to set up a new plan. So I'm going to uh, create a new plan here. So here down the bottom, you'd have any that you've already got. Uh, but we're going to uh, have a new one. So up on the side, I go to new plan. And I'm going to call this message center planning board. So what I want to do is set up a, a group of people who might meet weekly or fortnightly, something like that, to review all of these items and track them through. So I've created my new plan here. And you can see that I've got just the default bucket that says to do. So I'm going to search for my plan. Oh, great. And I can see that it's already uh, showed up there. And then I can choose which bucket I want to go into. So I can either create a new bucket for those sync messages, but I'm just going to select to do. Um, and then once I'm done, I click next. And then here I can choose which messages I want to sync. So you can take the whole lot or only the major updates. So those are the ones with the uh, red exclamation mark. Um, so you can say which types of message you've got here and then you can choose which products you've got. So we're not using Kaizala, so I'm going to deselect Kaizala, but I think all of the rest of them here, let's just keep all of those ones uh, because we can always we can always reject them as part of the triage process or come back and remove that later. So I'm going to click next um, and then we can, so this is a one-time import. So I can say, right, okay, I want to import all of the stuff from the last 28 days into my planner board so I can get started. So I've selected that and I'm going to review all of that and then I click finish. And then that will start to do that synchronization process. So now I can uh, set up what the recurring sync is going to be. So how often am I going to sync across the items from the message center into that? And this is powered by uh, Power Automate. So I'm going to start uh, in the next day, but I'm going to set it to come across at 11 p.m. and repeat every day. And then all you need to do is click the button that says Create Flow with Power Automate, and then that will uh, set that up. Just make sure you've got all of the connections that you need. Um, so if there's anything that uh, is a problem, then you can deal with it here. But I can just click Create Flow and it just show the little green tick very quickly there to show that I've got the access. Okay, so now I am done. Okay, and if I go up to my plan, there you go, I can see that all of those sync tasks have now come in. So they've all come as uh, cards, so I could set up the buckets that way I wanted to do, I could allocate them to people, uh, just make it all work the way I wanted to. Now if I needed to change that syncing, I can just go back to the message center, click on planner syncing again, um, and then we could edit the plan where it's going to go or change which messages sync. So if you've got too many or you're missing things, then you can tweak all of those things there. Uh, you could even stop automatic syncing if you wanted to do uh, all through that. Uh, but I think that I'm happy with this now. 
So as at a base level, that's all uh, all you need to do. Now you can kind of extend this. Um, so obviously this is a plan which is part of a group. So we could set up a team that uh, has a discussion around this. So I'm going to create a new team, but I'm going to create it from an existing group because it already exists because it's a planner. Uh, and there is my message center planning board. And I'm going to create that team. And this will allow us, allow us to have conversations around that now. So here's my uh, here's my team. So I'm going to add people in. So let's add in Nesta, and I'm going to add in Angela, and I'm going to add in Alan, and let's add in Miriam as well. Just so we've got a variety of people there. So we click add, and then we can decide whether they're members or owners or whatever through that. So these people have all now got access to. Uh, the plan but let's see how we can take that a little bit further using power automate so i'm actually going to create a new flow in power automate and it's going to be an automated flow okay and this is going to be when we get new tasks that come and sink in so i'm going to call this allocate triage so what i want to do um, is just search for a planner and say when a new task is created so what i want to do is allocate those triaged items so when a new task is created in the message center planning board and just pick the plan there it is okay and what do i want to do so if i want what i want to do is say if it's got microsoft teams in the title i want to allocate it to one person otherwise i want to allocate it to someone else so if the title contains microsoft teams so if we look back here we can see that they've got microsoft teams uh, in those and we, we can look through and just make sure that that is a pattern so uh, that looks to be the way that they uh, that they generally title those so if the title contains Microsoft Teams then what I want to do is go to planner and I'm going to add uh, assignees let me just there it is add assignees to a task okay and which one is it going to be so we're going to edit uh, custom value and we're going to pick the ID from the task that we got from the previous step and we're going to assign that to myself so just stick in my email address there we go there and if it's not going to be allocated to me uh, or if it's not a Microsoft Teams I want it to be allocated to my colleague Angela so I'm going to click planner and again add assignees to task uh, pull out that task ID so I need to enter custom value and pick out ID from the previous step and in there I'm just going to put Angela and put in Angela's uh, email address there okay and then that is the whole lot so now I can click save okay so then uh, obviously we're not going to see that now because we'll have to wait until new planner tasks come in but now that's set up so anything which is microsoft teams will be allocated to me and anything that's got anything else in the title will be allocated to angela now you could continue to extend this uh, so you could put notifications uh, into your team if there were certain types so if it was a particularly urgent one uh, looking for keywords in those tasks uh, as they come in from planner but we can see that it was really quick and easy to set up a link between the m365 uh, message center and planner uh, bringing those messages out of that kind of admin uh, admin locked in portal that people can't get to bringing them into planner where we can really uh, make sure that everyone's aware we can monitor that through use all of that great functionality that's within planner to assign them to people track them through um, and put them into different buckets so hopefully you'll find that useful and is something that you could implement in your organization have a great day